Yeah. 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 Yeah.
trying to put you on the spot. Now, everybody in here, if them would need him, now I want to hear his voice. If you don't need him, just say quiet. We're not going to do I need That saved a wretch like me. Grace 
grace will lead you on. To Yes, 
better and to be calm this morning. May our spiritual and our calm down. On the other side, where we are beyond some morning storm. Over, over in Beulah Land. Over in that land, Jesus, where there's no more sickness. No more sorrows. No more heartaches. No more dying. Over there. Over there. Over there, I'm a mother. Over there, waiting. Waiting for me to come home. She's waiting for a child. In Jesus' name, we pray and be blessings and others. We're going to read <coughs> our scripture lesson, the 18th chapter of Matthew, beginning at the first verse. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is great in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, Receives me, but whoso shall offer one of these little ch little ones which believeth in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck, mm -hmm. and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. I read you six verses of the 18th chapter of Matthew. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of His word. This is the scripture where the question was asked: Christ, who is greatest? And after being asked that question, no doubt one of the disciples was looking for him to pick one of them. Mm -hmm. But Jesus let them know you got to come as a little child. Well. So today he is saying that same thing to you and I. Doesn't matter how long you profess that you've been in the church, you still got to become a little child. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. 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 We would like to thank the devotion of Duchess for the devotion of Clarence. We should be for that that you have done your contribution to make it what it has been. <coughs> now we're about to begin our service for the afternoon. Uh, singing, Fred will briefly have a part of the program here. And uh, it says a report from the Time and Place Committee. <coughs> Notice in the letters that came in, there was not any request for any other place for the convention at this time. So that lay us back in the hands of the product of sun. We don't have anywhere else to go, then you go back home. So this is the home of the convention, and of course, uh, since as I say we have no request for any other place, so we will be back here Saturday and Sunday embracing the third Sunday, or Saturday embracing the third Sunday in August, 1980. I'm sure the president will get our program each and every one that he's been doing that you might know where, well you already know where the convention will be, but he'll let you know what's on if there'll be any changes. Now, Number one, Sister Secretary, I don't know who takes it, but uh, on your throat. So he got a cup to have it already. Well, he won't be dry through. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Now at this time, <coughs> we are going to begin our, our, our program, and uh, I try to call you as Brother Long did. Two at the time, whether the next incumbent would know his numbers. I know to get his number ready, he won't have to wait, he won't consume so much time by doing this. And to open up for us this afternoon is going to be I think Brother Jackson is going to open up for us. I mean, the Brother Holt Jackson. He's already sung some, he's going to sing a little more for us. He's going to open up for us. And I said, no, for me, the song ain't enough. I'm going to open up the seven <laughs> and the second of them. And following him, Sister Joe Lee going to sing. Seven and the second of them. Right. All right, we're going on through now with uh, this selection, number seven in this sacred gym. Number seven. Good. 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 Natural, sound natural. Oh, 
followed by a real camel. Follow it in the gospel song. Yeah. 
let's try to sing it. Everybody lift up a voice. Let us not go. Oh, what a 
great day. Oh, what a great day. Oh, that I will pay. That day will be. Hey, hey, a great day. A golden nation. Day. Day. Oh, day. Oh, Lord. Oh, have a real day. Oh, have a real day. Sweet heaven to see. Sweet heaven to see. Oh, a great day. A great day. Someone that wanted to sing, you got your chance now. Yeah. Anybody that I miss, and they want to sing. Uh, <laughs> I missed a few, but I uh, can't get every one of them, but I didn't want nobody to go where they wanted to sing and didn't get the chance. Right. Oh, we're fixing to do something different. Oh.
Heavenly Father, that has been good to us, yes. that has kept us from all hurt and harm and danger, that has kept our arms of mercy around us. Yes. That has indeed blessed us often, our Father. Bless those that give and bless those that didn't have it to give. Realize, Heavenly Father, sit high and bless the Lord. See all we do and hear all we say. How much did we praise you? Now, Father, it's about getting about time for us to return back to our different homes. Yeah. Some of us have got a long way to go mm -hmm. out there on the highway. Yeah. You know, our Father, what awaits us. Yes. Yes. But, uh, Lord, we ask you to guide and direct the door we and keep us on the road. Yes, Have mercy, yes. we pray. Yes, we know that thou know all things, thou sees all things, yes. thou hearest all things. Yes. When our journey is home, Heavenly Father, guide the vehicles. Yes. See us all safely back home. Yes. We pray yes. thee. Yes. Turn us back to our families, our Father. Yes. In your name we pray. Yes. Amen.
Um, while we're making a few more adjustments here, if anyone have any remarks or announcements, if you do, you might make them at this time. President, member of Florida and Alabama Saints and this friend, business friend, again I would say we are glad to have you here. Hope that you can return to do us again. Someday we hope that we be able to visit you. Thank you. <laughs> Hope that we would tell all our other members who are not here what they missed today. Yeah. They missed some good singing. Be sure to tell you why we missed it. <laughs> Looking for a next session. Tell all our members to come next session if they possibly can. If they would be here, if all our members here, this church would be just about full. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when we was visiting churches, we had a church full. <laughs> Mostly every time. Saturday night, Sunday, had a good gathering. Of course, I know how that is. A lot of church members were there. But we can uh, invite our friends and members come to Crestview to the convention. We'd be so happy to have them. We miss a lot of our members. Some of them I send program to, don't see them, but uh, we will continue to try to get them to come. And each of you, let's ask our members to come to the next session if we'll be living to see it. We certainly would appreciate it. You know, the, the directors and, and uh, presidents all oh, work so hard sometimes to try to get them here, and still we fail. But I believe if you just take a little more interest in the convention, you will be made happy. Because it's yours. It's not, it don't belong to me. Or one or two of them. It belongs to the whole community. Everybody. This is everybody's building. Florida and Alabama. Mm -hmm. That means that means a whole lot, don't it? Yeah. Taking up two states and more from any people from anywhere are welcome to come here. That's what it's for. We hope that the people will realize it. Brother Weaver couldn't come today, Brother President. He, he was engaged at uh, Lehman meeting in uh, some part of Alabama, but he told me that he wouldn't be here. Uh, this time, but he hopes to try to come the next time. And any time that we feel like coming on over, and he don't be here, you know, to come on because his spirit is, and fellowship is with this convention. You have him give up. <coughs> he's just been so busy in other engagements, but he, he he called me the telephone this time, said so he couldn't get you. He got to go to. You know, he's president of that language business over there, nine, and it just keeps him going from one place to another. He said he's going to break loose and come back to us uh, whenever he could get away in a session. And said for us to continue to come and visit him, particularly when he's in Mobile in Alabama. I believe that's about all. Dickie Sullivan, I know Brother Milton and told you he had death in his family, and he's gone to Birmingham. So we're going to turn the first service back in the hand of the president. Thank you. We presume that we had no other announcements. So the report is ready for the second. We'll have the first report next. for the cooperation that you gave us in selling the tickets. 
We would like to give you a breakdown on the finance. Ms. Yuma Gibson, $38. Ms. L. Hogan, $66. Lori Milton, $39. Derek Milton, $7. Janice Milton, $5. Ines Christian, $45. And with a DAS, $21. So Joe Sellers, $50. Grady Union class, $67. Bay County class, $56. Grandma James Williams, $5. Ms. Inez, Inez Cobbs, $5. Making a total for the tickets, $404 even. Uh, our report, May 17, 18, 19, 19, 1980. Convention Center, Crestview, Florida. Public offerings were $61.18. Executive board seventeen dollars and fifty cents. From classes two hundred twenty dollars. Badges ten dollars. From tickets four hundred dollars and four dollars. Making a total raise seven hundred twenty two dollars and sixty eight cents. At the uh, close of the meeting, we would like to meet with uh, President Moore, Deacon Gary, and Deacon Mill. Uh, That's the report. We have not have the drawing as soon as you heard the report. We have heard a report coming from the secretary, which is Mr. Omega. Madam President, I move that the report coming from the secretary be received. Any motion? Any second that the report from the secretary be received? Like I had time to consider the statement. Any questions? All in favor, let me know you sign out. Opposed? Uh -huh. There is none. So, the class meeting will stand up to be as read. Now, just before she comes to complete the drawing, see who will be the person that will take the TV along with them. Again, I said we'd like to thank you for your presence here, those that took time out to come. Appreciate very, very much. I must say this. Uh, she gave the amount that was raised, but she was unable to give uh, the balance because of the fact that uh, at the present time, we are so far in debt and owe so many people, so we got to put it in the hand and shake it up and see who's going to take out. <laughs> so after that's done, well, then you'll no, what I'm saying is, some of you know, we deal with a large size bank note that we have got to pay, and uh, a lot of personal money from different ones of the group that just had to put their own personal money in time to post that talk. Some of you might didn't know, there ain't no secrets, so I'm telling you. So uh, that's what happened. So now, at this time, I'm not ready to see who was going to win the season. I wasn't 
thankful that that's taken care of. As we know, everybody could win. One winner. One winner. And she happened to be that. So uh, now I won't have to be mad with Brother Gibb. He'd win it, and I didn't. <laughs> 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 so he'll be going all the way back to Jacksonville. <laughs> Thank you, so so very, very much. Now the program here is something I've got to get kind of sick. Telling her residents and things about Miss Poley. I don't know why I know her. P O L E Y. Is that what it is? Oh, well, I got she's home or somewhere. I don't see her. She's not here. And I didn't think to ask anyone else. So anyway, nobody knows anymore how to thank you for doing something to me. So I'll just give everybody a great, great, big thank you for all that you've done, even your presence. So you didn't have to even be here, but you could have been somewhere there. So we just thank you. Thank those that brought the food. Thank those that didn't bring any. Thank those that eat and those that didn't eat. <laughs> so everything has been wonderful. There's always room for improvement. We're still thankful for that that was done. Well, is there any? Other remarks or announcements. We'll let you go. Now. Oh, it's hot and we're going. Let's go back to the air conditioning now. And one of these days when you come, I, we hope to have one sitting in here for you. Just take like the song. We start a little more time. Yet we have quite enough time. And when we do that, we're going to fix it comfortable and nice, and you enjoy yourself. You sing and won't get too wet. You know. So we thank you. Again, I say, anyone that's have anything they would like to say. What? Yes, ma'am. I, I just want to tell everybody that, that we've enjoyed you all last night and this afternoon. We're thankful that we are to be here with you. Thank you. That is something else, you know, we should be thankful for. To know that you sang this, the way they call it, the fogeyism or the fogey type music, or whatever you call it. And people come 500 miles just to record us singing. Don't you know that's somebody? Yeah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So they have enjoyed being, we've enjoyed them being here. I hope they can come back again and uh, to do why. Uh, we hope we'll have more of our people here where we can even do a better job. So we thank all of you that come. So now if there's not any more announcements why we're ready for our journey. Stand. Get charged okay. I have Thank mm -hmm. you.
Lord. Wipe between me and thee. And we have one from another. Amen. Now they'll be missed until August. Over to the program for devotion by Deacon Albert Geary. Thousand hills of thine, 
Even the fish who swim the bright and deep are thine. We too feel and believe and pray thee this morning that we are thine too. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, the time and another again that we need be in the body by before thee this morning. Coming before thee is very cheering before good parents. As we tempt the Bible this morning, we didn't buy for no farm, neither fashion. Not did we buy for an outside children's world. Bow the terms of serious and obedient thanks unto thee for the blessing that thou hast stored upon us from the earth of our existence in the world up until this present time. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, bed we lead on as night was not our cooling board. And the cover we're wrapped up in is not our wine and sheep. And our early rising this morning wasn't called out into early judgment. But we still live here in a Bible land and a gospel country. As to you, our Father, to around us, you long on the protection. Hold us in the heart of thine own hand. We pray for Jesus' sake. And uh, as we got on the highway and headed out to this dedicated place, you kept the old vehicle on the road and kept it from all hurt and all danger. Able us to bow down before these folks and the consecrated wall this morning. Asking you, O oh Lord, to strengthen us while we're weak and build us up where we speak the tone down. Knowing to our Father, we too are graveyard travelers, and one by one we're on our journey home. Bless our coming together this morning. Bless each and every one of the sound of my weak voice. How much we pray for Jesus' sake. And uh, remember those the less fortunate we are this morning. Remember those in the hospital, and remember those in the different homes. Either the rag and pain and cool. Yeah. We pray for Jesus' sake, and uh, how much we pray for Jesus' sake. Take us by the hand of our mind and lead us on from one good degree of grace to another. For we realize that the Father, you said high and you look low. See all we do, you hear all we say. How much we pray for Jesus' sake. And hold my hand, my Father, I'll go where you want me to go. Hold my hand, I'll say what you want me to say. Hold my hand, I'll be what you want me to say. How much we pray for Jesus' sake. Remember our children this morning, our Father. Take them by the hand of their mind. Lead them on from one good degree of grace to another. Not on the mind, my Father, but I want you to remember my neighbor's children. Remember the lost some children all over the land and country. Take them by the hand. Lead them on from one good degree of grace to another. How much we pray for Jesus' sake. And then, Father, when life journey here has ended, no more room. This is more the man to dwell. Yeah. We too must be one of the number among the dead. We must go our travels, known and never return. Over yonder, where part of that hose is done crossed over, parts is crossing now. These blessings, and other blessings, we ask in your son Jesus' name forever. Amen. chapter of St. Matthew beginning at the first verse. <clears throat> After six days, Jesus taking Peter, James, and John, his brother, bring them up into a high mountain, a part, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment 
were white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elisha, talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elisha. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved son, and whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. I read you five verses of the 17th chapter of Matthew, 17th chapter of Matthew. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and the doers of his word. This is one of the scriptures that why Christ was up on the mountain talking with Moses and Elisha, two of the prophets which were dead for many years before he appeared on the scene. But when Peter see him talking with them, he said, Lord, it's good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles. You know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people wonder why that he wanted to make three tabernacles and why it was Peter, why it was Moses and Elisha was there. Christ is the head of the church. Mm-hmm. Moses was the head of the law, and Elisha was the head of the prophecy. Mm-hmm. So therefore, all three of them was there together, communicating with one to the other. Yeah. And when Jesus got through talking, when Moses and Elijah left them, he began to say to them, to tell no man what you've seen mm-hmm. till I'm risen from the dead, because they were seeking to destroy him then. Jesus was finishing his works here on earth. Yeah. And as he said unto them, said, if he'd build it up on the mountain, you and I wouldn't have had a chance. Mm-hmm. But he had to bring it back down in the valley and build it down there where everybody would have a chance to see his face. So that's said so much for that. We're going to now bring our devotion service to close. And I'll turn you in the hands of the president and we'll go on from there, whatever he says. Thank you. I would like to say this before I turn it over to the president. I won't, the song been on my mind ever since yesterday. And I would like to sing just a verse of it. I know we all know it. And it's one of the songs that our president, the founder of our convention, sung last time I seen him. And that is Reverend Brown, which passed and funeralized on yesterday. And that is the song that he's sweet on. And I, I, I don't know it all, but I, I just want to sing a verse of it, if you don't mind, Brother President. He's sweet, I know. He's sweet, I know. God loves me right.
<coughs> now, the program for Vibe next would be vocal exercise, but I don't know where is any changes you know, are going to be made uh, in this session or no. Now, if there's any changes to be made, be sure to let me know. Or well, I don't know the setup exactly because I know something is a new uh, issue uh, added in for today. And so whatsoever it comes by time for whatsoever to happen, just speak up and just let me know. But first, uh, I guess we will begin with our vocal exercise. Uh, brother, I know that. Right. Yes, that is true. Uh, we don't have too much of a change made. No more than I would like to ask Brother President, all of you that sang, whether you're a good singer, or whether you're a bad one, or whether you're just trying, <laughs> I want you to join in today and help me no. to make it what it should be. We know that we're very few here this morning, hoping we'll have some more on shortly. We hope, but we don't know that, but we're hoping that there's some more will come. But at the present time, as I often say, we have to use that we have. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask now, all of you sitting back there, would you please come up and take these two front seats here, get us a little closer together, and we'll make a little better harmony than we are. For the benefit of those that don't know, everything you do this morning is being recorded. Mm -hmm. So you want your best. You don't want something that's not. So when he calls you to sing, get your song, but be sure you get a song you know. Don't get one you don't know this morning, but we're not right. So get a song that you know this morning and sing it. Don't matter how old it is, if you know how to sing it, that's what we want. The best singing that you can do. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon. Oh, now, you know, we generally have the arrangement committee, have all the names wrote out, and then read the names off, and all such like that. And, but since we don't have that, well, we're going to uh, uh, copy this, uh, picked up this from uh, Deacon Milton yesterday. Uh, you know, there's always room for improvement, yeah, and yeah. you never get too old to learn. Right. And that's the only way you can learn is by listening. Right. And so uh, we just going to call name by name, and as I call, I'm going to call two at the time where they be ready, and right. you won't kill too much time. Now, according to the program, we're supposed to be out at 12.30, and if y'all say so, that we will. And so, you know, uh, whatever you put out on this program, you should go by it unless it be the, you know, change made for betterment of what happened. Now, first off, uh, I think Deacon Gray, the Deacon Gary is uh, burning up. He has one that he wants to bring to us to first off start. And following Deacon Gary is going to be Mr. Junior Miller.
Yeah, yeah. 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 
young lady would be little oh, Miss Milton. Yes, ma'am.
seat here. Just leave that behind this milk. Just now. I don't have a song. I'm mm -hmm. just singing with the rest. Oh, right? Oh. This young lady right here. Can I have some more songs? back here, Mr. President. Just now.
Anyone want to come up to the front? That's as close you can get. We appreciate it. Thank you.
That's wrong, brother Milton. <laughs> 158. 